Hey guys, welcome back. James here, Carolina Forge. Uh, a little different video today. I've been talking about it for a while. Uh, it's time to do it. Uh, it's come to fruition. And you see behind me back there set up. Log split. Uh -oh. What do we got? What are we going to do? Let me show you. We're going to make a press. Alright, what we got here is a 22 ton log splitter. This thing only works uh, 32 inches from the cylinder to the base down there. Uh, got to do some modifications. Going to be stripping some parts off of this uh, for the stand, like this here. That right there is going to become part of the stand. Uh, not going to need it anymore once we tear into this log splitter, so just unbolt it from there. Take all this extra fancy stuff off there and we're going to cut it up and use it for uh, legs on the stand. Also, we've got a few electric motors, but you can see right there is how it converts from the motor to the box. I've got to find a way to convert or to mount this to an electric motor and I'm not much of a machinist. So for now, I'm probably going to end up using the gas motor on here until somebody it can come up with an idea for me on how to do that. Um, who knows, maybe by the time I get to that point in the build, um, I'll have it figured out. But for now, let's just plan to use the electric motor. Got the hydraulic tank there, the lines, we're gonna use all that. Um, I'm gonna strip the wheels off of it and the axle. The tank is welded to, that, to the frame, so we're just gonna keep the frame all in one piece and mount it up behind the press. So essentially we're going to take this arm off, the actual press itself, we're going to unbolt it here, mount it on a stand, and then take this right here, which is part of the stand, and then all this that's left, the tank, the engine, and the frame that the tank's sitting on, will be mounted to the back of the stand, right behind the press, essentially like it's sitting. And then we'll make the dies and all that stuff to go on here. So we went to the scrap store or to the steel supplier, hit their drop bins, and came away with uh, everything I needed at scrap price, pretty much. Uh, show you what uh, all we got. Just giving you a little rundown of some of the material need. We're not actually going to build the press in this video. Uh, just this pretty much is just a prelude to building the press, just showing you what all we got to work with and the price we spent on everything, so you can kind of determine if building the press is in your budget. Because it's not cheap, but if you do it right, it, it can be uh, fairly cost effective. Okay? Uh, go down to your local steel supplier if you got one around you and hit their drop section. Okay? Uh, this is all two inch square tubing that we're going to make the stand out of. Uh, I've got in total, uh, I need eight foot total for the legs, 12 foot total for the top. So in total, I've got 20 foot here. These sections here, I have a nine foot section on the floor, okay, and plus that piece off the uh, splitter back there that I was showing you, the tongue, for to use that as well. That together is going to give us enough to uh, make the legs and the frame and everything to set the log, the, uh, log splitter up on the turn into a press. This here this is a five by five, quarter inch thick wall. Uh, I got this as a drop tube. Uh, all of this steel, like I said, was found on the drop shelf. I didn't have to have anything cut. If you, if you can get away with not getting anything cut at a steel supplier, you're going to save money because they charge you for cut. Uh, these are going to be just the uh, plates that go to the top of each of these, like so, to put my dies on. I got two of these. These are six by six. So we're going to have a half inch overhang all the way around there that we can weld, we can fill that in with weld. We're gonna do what they call a moment weld, where you layer it and you just keep stacking yourself out. Uh, kind of like filling it in. But anyways, we got two of these right here. Big old heavy bad boys. They are an inch and a half thick, if I'm not mistaken. This is two foot. We're gonna be cutting this in half for the top and bottom. We may not even use all of it, we may cut uh, nine and a half inch piece for the bottom. Put that on, make it so 12 inch, then we'll look at like a six inch piece for the top. Put one on, that way we got some travel between our press dies, we can work on some bigger stock if we want to. Uh, so we've got all of this 
all that steel I showed you plus the nine foot of not there's nine more foot of this on the floor. Sixty bucks buying drops. It's all what sixty bucks for all of that. Um, you got enough to make a stand. And Another good way to uh, do this on a budget, uh, I've told you before in one of my other videos when I got my last handle, use Facebook Marketplace. That's where I found that log splitter. Uh, you can go buy them brand new for $1,000 to $1,200 for that size. Get the exact same thing out there. Um, you're going to spend $1,000 to $1,200 go buy it brand new. And you're, you're not going to get the warranty. You can take it apart and burn it into a press anyway, so the warranty's out the window. So you're, you're, you're buying a brand new one for no reason. Uh, Craigslist sometimes has the deals. Uh, the marketplace is where I've had my best luck. And I posted some pictures before I started this of the press set up from Harbor Freight. And I went ahead and bought that, and I didn't even unbox it before my wife and I had come to the realization that it's just not going to work. So I've got to take it back, anyways. Uh, but she went on the marketplace and was looking around, and she found one an hour, it was an hour and 45 minute drive from me. Everybody else around here wanted eight, nine hundred dollars for their used log splitters. Uh, she found me one for five hundred bucks, cash money, uh, that night. And I was like, if it's still listed, I, in the morning when I wake up, I'll call him. Got a morning still listed. Called him. He said, "Yep, uh, uh, I have five hundred cash. If I come down and get it." I went down there. It runs. Brought it home. I paid five hundred cash for that log splitter, and I got sixty in the sink. So I have less. Than, I'll have less than six hundred dollars into this log splitter. Now you know, if I want to convert to an electric motor, generally I'd have to buy one. And I'm looking at two, three hundred bucks for a motor, but I'm lucky enough to have a few of those laying around. So I don't have any money in that either. Um, so I'll have less than six hundred dollars in my twenty-two ton forge press, which is more than satisfactory for what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing giant work, uh, just some hammers, you know, maybe some Damascus things like that, start working on some uh, mosaic patterns and stuff, get those down pat, maybe start selling some Damascus too. Presses have their benefits, so just keep your eyes out folks. Like I said, um, you can get the press for cheap if you find a good deal on a log splitter, then just go get you some drops from your steel supplier at scrap price, man, and you can hit a, you can hit, a, hit it out of the park. You can make, make a press, depending on your area and how uh, readily available log splitters are, you may even find one for 300 bucks. Just depends on where you're at. So just keep your eyes open, stay positive, you'll find what you need. I'm going to get to work. Of course, I'm going to make a video of building this press, so um, I hope you guys stick to me, stick with me, and follow me along in that build, because we're going to be going and taking a page out of 10 of Big Dog Forge's book on his press, because I really like the way he set his up, and I'm going to try and mimic his stand and all that. So, Tim, sorry if you think I'm copying you, man. I know you don't you don't mind. You, you love to pass the knowledge on, brother, but I'm going to copy your press, uh, and I'll be picking your brain. So, uh, again, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the continued support. I uh, hope you're looking forward to this press build as much as I am, guys, because it's going to be a lot of fun. So take care, and we're going to catch you on the next one.